Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Picking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Car Pathway of Picking. My name is Alicia. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. Go ahead on and subscribe while you're at it. And if you've been with me from day one, y'all give me a thumbs up. And I want everybody to share these videos. But what I'm gonna cook today, y'all, is a meaty baked spaghetti. And what I have here, I already have my water boiling for the spaghetti. Let me turn this up a little bit. And then I have my pans heating up for my sauteed vegetables and and the ingredients I'm going to be using, spaghetti of course, I'm going to be using 93% um, lean ground beef, Italian mild sausage, and I also have smoked sausage. I cook this ahead of time for the sake of time, y'all. And this is about um, 13 ounces, I think, of sausage. You can use any type of meat that you want any type of sausage that you like to cook. I like smoked sausage, my husband likes smoked sausage. But what I need to do is get everything going here. Oh, I forgot. Got spaghetti sauce and the different types of cheese. And I explain the type of cheese that I'm using when I start building this spaghetti. And these are my ingredients up here. And as I add the ingredients to the pot, I'll let you know what they are. But welcome to the channel, everybody. Welcome to the channel. How y'all doing today? Hope your day is going good. Let's get this meat going. So we can get this meal cooked. What are you all cooking today? I don't know if this a pound, a pound and a half. I'm gonna make a um, big size pot with a pan of spaghetti because this is for my household and my parents. And I'm trying not to rush, but my dad, when he gets off of work, probably within the next hour, he's coming by to pick up their portion. That's why I'm um, kinda rushing y'all. I want to make sure everything is right when you come to pick it up. So this is probably about a pound and a half. Oh, be careful y'all. This water is spitting. Let me turn this down a little bit. Be real careful.
What are you cooking the meat on, medium and high? Well, I have it on, right now, I have it on, like, number six. Oh, okay. All right. And I have onions here. I'm going to saute the onions. And the bell pepper. And the oil that I'm using. The oil that I'm using is the oil that I cook the sausage in. This spaghetti ain't playing over here, y'all. Hold on a minute. I'm clean my mess. Got to be careful because this pot is spitting. <laughs> it's spitting at me, y'all. Since I did put oil in the water for the spaghetti, the pot of spaghetti, I'm gonna stir every so many minutes, okay? Just to keep it from sticking together. Mm, smells good already. Jay, can you get a um, close up to another dish? It's meat cooking. All right, y'all. I'm going to continue to stir the meat and the vegetables. And I don't think y'all want to just sit there and watch me stir this meat and vegetables. And let me stir this for a minute, and then we'll be right back, y'all. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm back. This is what everything looks like so far. Jake, can you get a closer shot here? This is what the meat is look, looking like so far, y'all. It almost done. You wanna cook your meat, until you no longer see any pink, okay? You wanna make sure there's no pink left in the meat, all right? I don't see any pink in this meat. And actually, I don't have to drain it. I don't have to drain the grease in it because it's not that much. If you can get a good shot of this, Jacob, Y'all see, there's not a lot of fat in this meat. So I'm not gonna drain it, but if you have a lot of fat in yours, once you have already cooked the meat, then you can drain the grease off of it, okay? And what I'm gonna do now, let me check on, let me check on my vegetables here. My vegetables are cooking. The onions are translucent. The bell peppers softened. I'm gonna let them cook for another minute or two. Meanwhile, what I'm gonna do now is add my smoked sausage. I'm gonna add some seasoning, y'all. Let me turn this down a little bit. I wanna get these flavors going. It's me. And the seasoning that I want to add, I like spaghetti. It's spitting at me again. And as far as the spaghetti, I use, I had a two pound box of spaghetti. I used about a pound from that box and I had maybe a half a pound from the previous box that I used before. So the seasoning that I'm going to use, y'all, I'm gonna add the garlic powder, and I'm gonna season to taste, y'all. And we're going for flavor, okay? I'm gonna use some granulated onion. 
right? Didn't forget the black pepper. Y'all know me, if you've been with me from day one. Okay, let's see. Some Italian herbs. This is the grounder, y'all, for the Italian season. So this should really taste fresh since I'm grounding it up. I guess I put about a good tablespoon in there of that. Take this spaghetti. 
very out of the pot and go on and drain the spaghetti. Jake, I need you to taste the sauce. You don't mind? Yeah. You want to taste it now? So let me know what I need to add. Y'all, I have um, a lot of dental work going on. I have Invisalign. I have trays in my mouth, Invisalign. So um, I have to take them out and wait a few minutes before I taste stuff. So I'm gonna let my husband taste it. He's gonna taste it off camera and he's gonna let me know what I need to add. Okay? Let me get a spoon. Look. Don't pan down on the spoon drawer. Okay? Hey, raise it up to the ceiling or something. Cause it's a mess, y'all. Pepper. Black pepper? Mm -hmm. What else? And do you put ketchup in it? Or you don't put ketchup in yours? You know what? We're gonna add some ketchup. You need a little more tomato sauce, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what I forgot. Ketchup. Alright. Let me go in the refrigerator. One moment, y'all. spaghetti, a little meat, a little cheese, but do what works best for you, okay? And I'm going to mix this in a little bit, just a little bit. It's a lot of sauce. And the top 
type of cheese I am going to use. I have some leftover sharp cheddar. I'm using what I have, y'all. And you use the type of cheese that you have, the type of cheese that you like, okay? Because you and your family is gonna eat this meal. And you want it to be the way you all love it, okay? Just get a little cheese melted in here. And that was the sharp cheddar. All right, mix that in a little bit. Let's put some more in. sauce. This is a lot of meat sauce, y'all. I may end up using two uh, aluminum pans. The size of aluminum pan that I have, I think that's a 12 by 10. This right here, 12 by 10. And let's add a little more. Sharp cherry cheese to the mix. Probably about a total of four cups of cheese that I'm using on. Mm. It's gonna be good, y'all. I didn't taste it, but sometimes you can you can sense it. cheese is melting. I want the cheese to melt within the spaghetti and meat mixture. That way, when I put it in the oven, I'm only gonna put it in the oven um, maybe about 15, 20 minutes because I just want the cheese on top to melt and to brown a little bit and it'll be done. All right, y'all. Add a little more meat sauce. The rest of this meat sauce that I have left over, I'm gonna put it, let it cool down completely, and I'm gonna put it in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer. And I can use it at a um, later date, okay? At another time. I might use a penne pasta or another type pasta with it, okay? Mm. Yes, yes. It's a lot of meat. Because when you make this spaghetti, every bite that you take, you wanna eat meat. Get half of it to my parents. I just need it to be ready by the time my dad comes to pick it up. I think he gets off about seven o'clock. It's after six already. That's why I'm kind of rushing y'all. Good. All right, let's pour this in the pan. Put some cheese on top. Ooh, it's hot. I need to turn this ceiling fan on. If it's too loud, y'all, excuse the noise. I'm sweating. y'all this Kobe Jack cheese okay it's shredded it's Kobe Jack and um it's a blend shredded Kobe and Monterey Jack blend 
That's what I'm going to put on top, y'all. Where's my? All right, let's get the pork. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Without making them mess, I don't want to scoop it out. Let's see. It'll work. y'all could have put it on a bigger pan but it had to make any spill it's gonna go into this cookie sheet so I'm okay with that y'all. Just gonna sprinkle some cheese on the top. And I'm gonna put some parsley on top too, y'all. It's the dried parsley, not the fresh. Look, I even had a minute to 
make some garlic toast. The time in the oven was about 15 minutes, y'all. 15 minutes. I just wanted the cheese to melt. And here we are. Oh, I forgot. I was sweating earlier, y'all. Trying to get this spaghetti in the oven. It won't sweat getting in the food. I forgot to put the parsley on there, so I had to go back and sprinkle the parsley on there, y'all. But anyways, let's see what, what we have here. It's a thick one, too. Remember, hubby tasted it, so I'm gonna taste it this time, y'all. Give me a piece of garlic toast. Now, Jacob, please don't do a close up shot of my teeth. I don't think the people wanna see that. <laughs> but, anyways, that looks good, y'all. Succulent. Alright y'all. Y'all wanna taste it first? Like it. It's the ultimate meaty baked spaghetti, y'all. Got a good shot of that? Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, let me try it. Back 
Now try it. Now try it. I got to divide this up. My dad, it's on his way. I got to divide it up, wrap it up, get it ready for him. But y'all, thank you for joining me again. I got more delicious videos coming, y'all. I'm trying to get this business going. And I really do appreciate all of the love and support that I'm being shown. And always remember, y'all, stay humble and kind and be an encouragement to everyone that you meet. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I need to get this meal wrapped up. Call Pops, it's on his way. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me, y'all. Love y'all.